Here we have a question that says uh, an automotive with an eyeless with a three degree glide slope is located 4.6 nautical miles from the threshold. Assuming that a glide slope height of 50 feet above the threshold, the approximate height of the aircraft um, passing the outer marker. So the question is, what is the height of the aircraft um, when passing the outer marker? That would be here, and with, let's say the outer marker would be here. And according to this, we are supposed to be 50 feet above the threshold. Okay, um, here it says you should use the 1 in 60 rule. So the 1 in 60 rule is z is equal to distance of, distance gone, multiplied by 60. And what we have in the, in the example, we have a 3 degree glide slope, so that would be the z, 3 degree glide slope. Uh, we have a the outer marker is located 4.6 nautic miles. So the location of the outer marker is here, 4.6 nautic miles. And we are looking for the, the height above the outer marker, which would be the distance off. Let's see, this would be the distance off and this would be distance gone in the formula. So we're filling the formula, we got the Distance gone 4.6 nautical miles, and this would be the x. Uh, now we need to twist the formula. We looking for the distance off is equal to 3 multiplied by 4.6 divided by 60. That will give us uh, that will give us point. See, oops, point two, three nautical miles. Uh, we need to change that because this would be 0 0.23 nautical miles of this length here. We need to have it in feet. So we multiply by 6,076 feet. And the result of that will be 1397.48 feet or 1400 feet. Okay, that would be this distance here, 1400 feet. But pay attention that we are missing the 50 feet here. So we are, because we want to be above the threshold height. So 1400 feet plus 50. And the final answer is 1450 feet for the, for the final answer of the question. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you. And remember to subscribe.